Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ English. Let's look at a very exciting topic that's about NASA's lunar mission named as Artemis 2. Now NASA is planning to send humans around the moon and this might happen as early as February 1st week. The mission under consideration is Artemis 2 mission. We have seen already another previous version of Artemis mission that was launched back in 2022. Today we are looking at Artemis 2. Now under this mission which is supposed to be almost for about 10 days, we will have about 4 astronauts who shall travel near the moon. And from these astronauts, we have three from NASA, one from Canada, Canadian Space Agency. Interestingly, NASA is sending a lady astronaut who will supervise the mission named as Christina Hammock. Now, this mission ultimately has an objective of sending astronauts near the moon. They will fly around the moon before finally they will return back to the earth. So quickly let's look at some technicalities and important issues related with Artemis 2 but because we are talking about NASA do not forget for GS paper 3 a very important topic I have in detail to discuss with you about the Nisar mission previously created by NASA and ISRO. Remember I spoke about the two bands that are a part of the mission the L band and the S band. We spoke about SAR, synthetic, synthetic Aperture Radar. What is the function of this technology and how does it work? We have discussed that in detail. Now coming back to Artemis 2. You can see the pictures and have an association pictorially with the topic. Now looking at the mission, yes, it is going to be the first human mission around the moon's surface. For the first time ever since in 1970s, we had the Apollo mission. So now for the first time it's going to happen and now that we are talking about first human mission near the moon. It also reminds me of India's first crewed mission into the space. Yes, I'm talking about the Gaganyaan. You should know about it in detail. You must also know that ISRO therefore is doing various kind of experiments. India had participated previously in the Exeom 4 mission in which a major astronaut Astronaut Subhanshu Shukla also participated. He went to the International Space Station. And now for the Gaganyaan, we are experimenting with technologies like Vyomitra. We are looking at human rating. All these experiments are now being done. So do remember all that. And now coming back to Artemis 2. Yes, for the first time now, NASA is spent sending astronauts, humans near the moon. First time after the Apollo mission. Okay, so this is the second mission under the Artemis program. The first one happened in 2022, but it did not carry any human. It was uncrewed, but Artemis 2 will be a crewed mission. It will carry humans near the lunar surface. It will carry humans near and beyond, much, much beyond the low earth orbit after almost 50 years. Now, when I say low earth orbit, you must have these concepts very clear. Low earth orbit, almost like a band near the earth where majority of space missions and space stations are located. I mentioned once to you that it is also becoming a dangerous area now because of the problem of orbital debris, because of the problem of too much residue and broken down particles of existing equipments that this area, the near Earth orbit is now experiencing too much orbital waste, too much residue and debris. It might interfere with all the space missions in the low Earth orbit. Some similar phenomena was witnessed when another spacecraft from China that was known as Shenzhou 2 also experienced a small problem. Its capsule window was stuck by orbital debris, creating a kind of small crack in it. In future, it could be dangerous too. Yes, so remember the low earth orbit and as you remember this, also remember the middle orbit, remember the geostationary orbit and finally then the higher space region. Now the beauty of Artemis 2 is that it will travel way beyond the low earth orbit. It is actually going to far up high in the space almost after 50 years and because of this, we are using advanced technology like the Orion spacecraft here as well as space launch system SLS rocket. Why? Because we need to travel now, send these astronauts now much outside the low earth orbit near the moon surface. So let's quickly understand what are these two concepts? What is Orion and what is SLS? Now talking about Orion, it looks like that. 
What is Orion? Orion is a special dedicated spacecraft meant for NASA's crewed mission. Okay, missions that carry astronauts. Now, why is it made? It is made so that humans can be sent much higher up in the space, beyond the low Earth orbit, to missions including missions to the moon, missions in future to the Mars and other destinations. It is specifically designed to do some kind of experiments. How? Because it definitely protects the astronauts, the space missions from radiation danger. It provides life support. It also enables at a very high speed re-entry back into the Earth's surface. It is deliberately meant to support long duration missions. All of these are human rated spacecrafts. Now, but I also just spoke about SLS, Space Launch System. What do you mean by that? Now, that is actually deliberately created in a super heavy lift rocket. And why is it done? It is a system that is dealing with a super heavy lift rocket developed by NASA and why it has been developed to enable crewed and cargo missions beyond Earth's orbit. It is designed as the backbone for the Artemis mission. It provides power to send Orion spacecraft and much larger payloads directly either to the moon and eventually one day also to Mars. Because we are talking about Mars also, so do remember you should know basic details about India's future experiments like Shukriyan, Mangalyan as well. Okay. Now coming back to Artemis 2, what are the key agendas here? One, to enable the astronauts to fly around the moon and then come back to the earth. I just spoke about Orion, high speed re-entry, remember that. Next, to test spacecraft systems and crew performance. At the same time, to build Lunar Gateway, very important. What is Lunar Gateway? Lunar Gateway is like an international space station that will keep orbiting the moon. It will enable NASA's Artemis program. Tomorrow it will be a great help in order to launch and land astronauts near the lunar surface. It will help us in long duration missions. It will help us in docking various missions in the deep space as well as provide us a support system for future expedition towards Mars. So do remember about Lunar Gateway. Okay, and now that we are talking about various objectives of the Artemis mission, I want to ask you a question. We have spoken about the Chandrayaan-3, the successful moon, lunar moon south pole landing by India. Remember we spoke about the Shiv Shakti point. There I had asked you, what is the name given to lunar soil? Whenever we collect samples of the lunar soil and bring it back for study, analyze it. What do you call the lunar soil exactly? Do let me know the name. We have done a detailed discussion on that. And now looking at what is the payload here? What do you mean by payload? All the equipment, all the material that is carried by the spacecraft outside the planet. In detail, I have spoken to you about Aditya L1 payload. We also discussed how recently, unfortunately, another very ambitious mission from India failed. Yes, our most reliable rocket PSLV. It was carrying the mission and the idea of the mission was to do a new experiment. If the experiment would be successful, India would have become the second nation in the world after China to successfully experiment with in space fuel transfer. In space fuel transfer. But that was not done because in stage 3, the PSLV mission could not be successful. Which and what is the name of this mission? Can you tell me? See what? Do let me know in the comment box. Unfortunately, it happened just a few days before. Had we done that, it would be another feat. After all, it was the first launch of ISRO in 2026. Unfortunately, in May 2025 also, another PSLV rocket had not been able to be successful. So as we are grappling with these problems, we have other ambitions lying up like the Gaganya. And we are doing experiments for that. Yes. So what is a payload? A payload is the ex experimental material equipment that you send through a rocket, through a spacecraft into the space. Okay. So what is the payload for this Artemis 2? The payload here will focus on studying space radiation, its impact on human health and space communication. Now, Artemis 2 is important because it will also be like a background check. It will test how ready are we to send humans to the moon. 
The data that Artemis 2 collects will provide a great feedback for the upcoming Artemis 3 mission where we are planning to actually land on the lunar surface and with that a quick practice question to you. With reference to Artemis 2, look at these statements. 1. It will be the first crewed mission under NASA's Artemis program to send humans near the moon after 1970's Apollo program. Second, Artemis 2 includes a planned human landing on the south pole of the moon to test surface operations. And 3. The mission is a very critical test flight of the space launch system rocket and Orion spacecraft before we start with Artemis 3 program, which of these are valid answers? And as you provide your answer, a quick reminder to my students who are preparing for UPSC exam 2027. Now the batch has already started, but the admissions will close on 17th. This could be a great opportunity to ensure your success in 2027 exam because we are offering prelims, mains and basic interview guidance. A wide variety of options to choose from. Writing practice, essay, books, material, everything is our responsibility. All you need to do is to enroll now. But do remember, if you want a more maximum discount, use code SPLIVE, okay? So you get even more discount. And similarly for 2028, we have an excellent opportunity right now. Use code SUCCESS. Take maximum discount. Admissions are closing 17. A program that enables you thoroughly for clearing for being successful in UPSC 2028. So thank you so much to all of you.